And then in the games, mm -hmm. of course, I haven't been on one of these streams, so I haven't really had a chance to yeah, talk about Yeah, do the, the plug, Lewis. But Wildermyth, Amazing. obviously, Let's brilliant, make a brilliant fun. game. Project Winter, been in chats with them. Mm -hmm. You played new version. They made a beta build just for me. Yeah, because... So I was like, we're Lewis rubbish at this there. game. I was we like... We are not good at this. Well, no, the thing is, they were like, do you want us to make... Do you want us to do anything to change the game or add anything mm -hmm. for Jingle Jam? And I was like, you don't have to add anything special, but it would be lovely if you could just tweak... Give, some, give me the setting mm -hmm. to make it easier to find stuff in, like second objective because we really struggle with that yeah so i suggested this thing they put it in the game that's cool um really nice guys sarah at, at, at other ocean is my contact sarah butt her sarah name is, butt. i love that name she's lovely anyway uh barotrauma obviously one of many games uh that dadalic have given us uh this year very excited to work with us that um, was cool the barotrauma what a game it is um it's brilliant and of course, they gave us some railed as well, which we know is brilliant. And these two games are new. They're cool. They are fun. Anytime, anytime I ask Pedguin and our friends what game they want to play, Pedguin's like, can we play Unrailed? I'm like, how many times can you build a, a train path? And I, he, just every time he wants to play it. We were playing Mario Kart on the couch. And he's like, I have Unrailed on my Switch. And he's like, well, you could play Unrailed. You got unwailed on your Switch. That's what he was saying. It's, it's a good. good game. Ember. Five fighting game. Fun. From Curve. Me and Ravs and Pedgwin did that one at some point. Too. Curve also gave us Just Die Already, which is, again, brilliant game. New game. Really, really fun game. Like, really different. Like, you got me hooked on the Picta thing, too. And then this is Pick, Pick Cross. Yeah. So Twitch actually sorted this one out. Yeah. Shout out to Twitch for... um. For helping out with this, they put us in contact with these guys who gave I'm us addicted. murder by numbers. I got a pick cross app on my phone now too. They also gave us PC building simulator. It's the same irregular corporation. Look what Pedgwin's done. Um, so it's like little lines here. So these two were the same company. These two were the same company. Yeah. These two were the same company who who us up. But then were quite different games. Um, but yeah, Twitch set us up. So yeah, like these these are legit games, and then Northgard, of course, Shura Games. They gave us Darksburg last year. They're making a really cool new game, Shura Games. We've seen they've got um, War Tales. Ooh, Have you seen this? Mm -mm. Um, it's basically Battle Brothers, which is a brilliant game. But this is um, look, that guy's playing it. This guy looks or like something. Having a good time. Uh, but no, it's it's basically it's just it's on early access. Um, came out first December this year. Um, but I played the demo when it was out earlier. It's oh, basically it looks a kind of it's Battle Brothers, but better mm. without the bad weird faces in battle brothers so if you like battle brothers um you've probably heard of this and be playing it already it's doing really well and um very cool it's actually legitimately a good game so um north guard took us a while to get it because we were first playing this on jingle jam like 2018 and yeah we're obviously still big fans it's, and it's cool still that it's in game. then um yeah still really good value if you've never played it um you're missing out because it's a, it's a really really great it still holds up today it's a really fun um, fantasy strategy so that's why that's up there Heaven's Vault brilliant game Inkle you remember Inkle so we, they used to support us they support us okay, early okay. in the days with Sorcery Blade and Sorcery oh Sorcery this? okay remember Sorcery this was like the um, it's like on iOS but also on, on PC it's, it's fighting oh, it, fantasy books yeah so they basically made it they digitized they built this program which lets you put fighting fantasy books on online and you can actually use it yourself that's too cool it's called Inkle Writer Cool. Uh, if you want to write your own fighting fantasy book, there's basically this whole, th this whole oh, wow. program where you can make an interactive story. Um, it's really, really clever. And anyone can and it use does, it. And does it do the drawings or what? No, so it's just the fight fantasy book. Mm. So, But it tell, you know you, you can add options and it will link it all together. Because trying to write a fighting fantasy book is a pain in the ass. Why don't you have a Jingle Jam competition for people to do that? Like a Jingle Cats that was a really good idea. People yeah, can use this why not? and submit Make them for fighting fantasy. Stories. Yeah, submit your own fighting fantasy. Yeah. That's a good idea, Boba. This is why you're here. The other thing they made, of course, Chats for Telling Me is 80 Days, mm -hmm. which I played with my dad um, on stream. He really liked it. It's a kind of really interesting game about going around the world. Oh, it's pretty too. Um, and it's just, there's so much story in mm -hmm. this. There's like, 
hundreds and hundreds, like thousands, thousands of lines. So more than 80 days worth, you think? It's huge. Like, they're, they're, they're like it's 170 cities in it. And techno fantasy. It's, just, it's so replayable. It's a brilliant old classic game um, that we got a lot of joy out of. And so Inkle obviously have given us their latest game, which is Heaven's Vault. Um, they just make pretty stuff, huh? And this is set in this kind of weird, um, mm. beautiful sort of future sci-fi kind of universe. Mm -hmm. And you're on like an archaeological adventure. Ooh, that's kind of right up my alley. Digging up like um, relics and translating this weird language. So you, these like, so cool. you basically get these like weird language. And you're like, you slowly start to recognize as you play the game which each symbols mean. I and like so you can, that. You actually learn a language of the game. Fucking brilliant. I game. could have been an archaeologist, but instead I'm here. Well, this is fun. I recommend that if you're going to play something over Christmas, Boba, mm -hmm. you want to play something called Christmas Day or Boxing Day, like this is just something you can dive into and honestly, really, A lot really of good. these too, like I've, I've got the bundle and then I'm like, oh, is this on Switch too? And then I've gone and bought them on the Switch if they're available, which has been nice. A few of them have. Paradox supporting us as always with a great game. A um, Becky recommendation. Becky has played this and actually, you know, it's it's a it's a really fun, really cool city builder. There's lots of I hadn't Tom's played this videos, until yeah. this year actually, mm -hmm. um, and I really really got a kick out of it. So if you've not played the old Mars, if you want if you want a really fun like Mars Dome, um, if you want a fun Mars Dome, Mars Dome simulator thingy me with really it's just got cool mechanics. Sorry Mars, it's really well done. It's a couple of cool DLCs for it as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you want more stuff. Um, this isn't in the bundle, obviously, but there's a there's a green one, I think, Green Planet, which is kind of cool because it can you can get more oh interesting more late game stuff, and eventually you can actually open your domes, uh, which is really cool. So you but you have to get Mars to a certain point before you can do yeah. that. Um, but that's need, that's really rewarding. I need to play more sim games, simulation, and that sort of thing. So yeah, that's that. It's great, and then. Um, uh, Call of Duty Timeless Pack. So this actually mm -hmm. is um, obviously for Vanguard and Warzone. Warzone mm -hmm. is free, I think. Okay. Vanguard is the new one. I, I don't know all the names anymore. I haven't played either of them m lately, but um, mm -hmm. they put out this pack every year to raise money for Call of Duty Endowment Fund, which mm -hmm. is in the, in the bundle. Um, and the, one of the ways they do it is they have this, I think it's like a, a £10 um, like goodies pack okay. for those two games. And so, obviously, I was happy to have it because Warzone is, is free. So, mm -hmm. I, we don't have anything else in the bundle that you need I see, yeah. to only have the game for. But this is the only one that's slightly different from all the rest. All the other games are in the bundle. Mm -hmm. All the other 55, 56 now, technically, by the way. But we'll say, we'll do that in a minute, in a second. Um, this is the only one that's a DLC. But it's, mm -hmm. it's limited in, in edition. So, they actually only put out a certain amount of codes. Mm hmm. And then once they're sold out, they, they give it to us instead. So they, I think they have 100,000 codes that they sell, and then they have 100,000 codes so in the bundle. So got the extras. So yeah, this is one of the only ways to get it, I think, which is cool. And um, it's a good way to, if you're into COD, which I know a lot of people are, it's a good way to get the bundle out to different people. Or if you know someone who's into COD, you could send that to them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a different audience. Oh. And that's sort of what we want to hit. And there's so many more games. Oh my God, Golf It, of course. We, good we all, for we, friends. We love that. <laughs> Pathway, which we're going to do in a second, Chucklefish. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you very much, by the way, to Chucklefish, because they gave us company. Starbound last year. Yeah. And that really did allow this year to be bigger. Um, they produced Because when bangers. I was reaching out to people, I was like, hey, this is what we did last year. Look at these games we had. We had Starbound in the yeah. bundle last year. And everyone was like, oh, Starbound, they're yeah. an actual game. Like, they must have, they must know what they're doing. And they wanted to be in Jingle Jam. So we'll be, want to be in Jingle Jam. And that actually got a lot of people. Yeah. So it's, it's like having a rolling ball. The gradations ball. for it. Yeah, like the more people we, who are involved, the more people want to be involved. Yeah. Um, so Pathway is what we're going to play now. After after I just quickly go through the rest of this. Um, you played this, Imperium. We played this back in the day. It was it's, classic Duncan yelling at us. Multiplayer of Space Sandbox. I loved it. It's continually updated. I think it's it's great. I think it's just I think it's come out of early access now. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's not actually early access anymore. There's a couple of these games in the world that are actually early access. I can't remember quite which ones. Um, maybe I haven't got them yet. Valfaris. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a really cool looking dark action platform. I don't think it's been played on the Jingle Jam yet, but um, it's I actually... I like the publisher name. It's very Rhythian. It's very um, very Nilesy. 
Yeah. Very like if you if you like a platformer or you feel like one. Oh, it's cool looking. It's, it looks badass. It is badass. Nice. It's got great music. It's actually worth a look. That's a good. That's a good like hidden gem in the bundle. Mm -hmm. Ben played it. By Ben and Raps. Good. 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 Uh, Witch it. Prop hunt. We, we love had a it. great time with that. The Tales of the day. DLC is a game which I specifically chased down. So all of these games, Lewis, Lewis the way, did a lot of I, work. I almost I chased down, and I, Tales of the DLC was on my list because when Cyberpunk came out, mm -hmm. I went on like a binge mm -hmm. and played a load of other Cyberpunk games yeah. that were better than Cyberpunk. Okay, and this was one of them. Seal um, of approval. It's really cool. Um, I recommend you check it out. It's, oh, wow. it's pixels. It looks great. It's got a great vibe to it. Um, it's obviously really well rated. It's beautiful. And yeah, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to do that, you should. Uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. We know what that Next is. Next is my favorite. That chicken horse. This game is old but it's brilliant. Just, it's amazing. I was so glad we were able to get it. It's in the bundle. so fun. We played it on the couch for a few hours the other day. It's great to just have a few spare copies of it as well. Mm -hmm. Like, and so you can always. Uh, yeah, I saw you guys were just playing this in the other oh, room. Oh, it was so fun. We were teaching people It still too. holds up today. It's just a great game Yeah. Um, to play with friends. Even like people who... Also kind of... it's Enemies as well. Yeah, it's, it, it's definitely play with enemies. Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad. Eagle-eyed Jingle Jam people will notice that this was originally listed as Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. Okay. And if, Only eagle eyes. And if you received the bundle... The key for this is listed as Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. However, uh, there was a mix-up and the keys they sent us, they requested the wrong keys. They oh. sent us keys for this game, Red Orchestra 2, which uh, was in the bundle before, mm -hmm. a couple of years back, but also is uh, was not intended because it's also called Rising Storm. So they requested the keys, they sent the keys, we put them in, we plugged them all in and then when people redeemed Behind them they realized the they got a different game the scenes so i hit up tripwire and they sent us codes for rise of storm vietnam as well oh so two so for rise of storm 2 of vietnam one. will be in the bundle but because we built the packs already mm -hmm. we can't insert them into the packs yeah so we're gonna have to wait till the jingle jam's over and then send out those keys okay um so Tiltify will send out keys for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. That will be your bonus day, chat. After the Jingle Jam is over. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be the 56th game. And that actually brings the bundle value over $900. Which is our highest bundle ever. I know. That was a lot of Lewis putting in work, guys, too. So, so we have Jingle. So we have... It was um, busy. So yeah, Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. Actually, again, very popular, very legit game. Um... It's on offer at the moment because they're doing a tripwire sale actually so mm. it's 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 actually it's not actually um tripwire have a whole big sale going on but yeah this is like an actual proper game look how many how many ratings it's got it's it's popular and, and good so yeah you get that get that in the jingle jam that's good chat's um, loving you loose they appreciate you uh 20xx that was fun classic mega man watch. there's actually a new one called 30xx um mm -hmm. which is I think it's come out recently, and I think um, it came out last year. Did you guys play this? Did you play the new one? Xylus played that, and then Pedgwin played a bit. Okay. It might have been this new one. Great music, great style, uh, looks great. Um, sorry, I'm just going to turn the music off because it's going to be distracting, but it is awesome. Oh, look at the chanting, editor. Lewis. It's good. You don't have to appreciate me, chat. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, doing I'm it on do. behalf of us. This is made by one guy, David A Weedy. single man. Um, really cool game. I think Brian, you played it. Um, yeah. Really cool. This is this was sent in by fans. Okay. So there were four games in the bundle sent in by, not sent in by fans, but at least I didn't have to request mm. myself. Um, they are um, Scott Scoot Kaboom. Mm -hmm. Is that the one that had Ben in it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he did. He put it. He put Ben in it. Uh, Hearthland sent by a guy called Sergio. He's a fan. X Trust was made by fans sent in. That was fun. And Sizable is the other one that was sent okay. in by Sander Ambrew. So these are guys who contacted me. And this guy I met at a wedding. Um, and I played this game on my phone. I'd played it on my phone before. And I okay. met him. And I was like, oh, do you want to be in the Jingle Jam bundle? And he was like, oh, yeah, I just put it out on Steam. And I was like, amazing. How so it's cute. like a, it's like a pixel. It's on my phone, but you can get it on your phone. I think it's actually free on phone. But mm. you can now get it on Steam if you're, if you're that way inclined. And you want to play it on your 
on your phone, uh, on your on Steam. It's a really cool game. It's really, really different, really mental. Boba, everyone loves you too. Look at that. You're getting the love. Sorry, I got a bit out of order, but uh, there's a bike game which we're going to play. This is like one of those games that I found on the um, Steam Hidden Gems page. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the most hidden gems there is on Steam. This okay. is a single player raft in early access, being developed really hard. Got really cool Make secret sale? stuff in it. It's, it's legit. Um, made by the same people who made Kind Words, which is also in the bundle. Samurai Gun. That was so fun. Samurai Gun, a very classic. I loved fairly it. Fairly iconic brawler. There is also um, a new one. Oh, is there? Um, which is out. Samurai Pedling. Gun 2. It's on early access. Uh, came out this year on early access. So Among Us. Uh, and they've got. Why is it Among Us? They've Lewis? just they've added like an Among Us. Why like, is Among mode Us in it? Yeah, I know it's mental. Look, Among Us. So they've got this. They've got Among Us skins in Samurai Gun Two, which is a special Christmas thing. So Among Us. I might have to give this a play actually. Um, yeah. Because it's it's it looks brilliant, fun. So Samurai Gun Two, check this out. Uh, Samurai Gun 1 is obviously in the bundle and if you liked Amongus. it you should check out number 2 and it's got a partnership with the Among Us lads but yeah early access so thank you for that um, Frog Detective brilliant we love it everyone knows what it is it's cute cute it's, cute. it's awesome um, lovely lovely Grace Bruxner sent that in for us beautiful Sold Out gave us Radical Rabbit's Jew mm -hmm. there is also the um, beta of Core Keeper going on which is exclusive I love Core Jam. Keeper so check out Core Keeper on Steam um, Core Keeper is going to be a huge thing next year. It really is. It's, it's, it was so fun. I've got a decent amount of hours This will be a huge, already. huge game. Because it's like Terraria, e Minecraft-y, yeah. um, Stardew multiplayer, Valley. Multiplayer, Stardew valley -y mess. And it's it's going to be huge. So it yeah, if you, if, you, if you want, you can play the demo of it by requesting access on Steam yeah. for December only um, because of the Jingle Jam. Um, see, they, they launched it on the same day Jingle Jam launched. And if you have Radical Rabbit Stew, Radical Rabbit Stew, Rabbit Stew in your Steam library, you will get a free item mm -hmm. in Core Keeper. So why not redeem that? Something very cute. Uh, where were we? Barony is um, a troll game. It's impossible. It's co op mess. It was fun. It's fun, but hard and horrible. Shift Happens, you played on Parsec Pals yesterday. Yep. Um, Regions of Ruin is dwarves. They are. It's it's again. It's pretty hard, but pretty fun. We need you go out two D dwarf. Game. You lob like you fight goblins. You build like towns, goblins. and you wander around in like um, side scrolling. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's actually really really great. So Regis for in recommend. Uh, Flintler finishes. I loved that one. Elasticy full guys against mess. um Ben and and Joe. That was really fun. We were guess the name. You know, okay, so there's two things and you get a name from them. And if there's like a nut and the apple. And so Pedgwin and I were Nutty Delicious. Oh, yeah. Was our name. And I think, what were the other ones called? Wobbly, wibbly, wobbly nut or something. It was interesting. Um, and fun. It's good. It's worth checking out. Figment is actually legitimately like really wholesome. It's mm -hmm. kind of like this a really nice story wobbly musical bundle. adventure where you're kind of wandering around. And it's just... It's just a wholesome, puzzly experience. And that one's cute. It feels, it feels, it's so feel good, right? Mm -hmm. Figment. So yeah, you should definitely check this out because it is, it's, it's like a warm cup of cocoa. I recommend it. This is uh, sent in by an Italian team. Uh, mixed reviews on Steam, but it's, so it's not for everyone, but it's kind of this, this, it's like, it's basically you're on an Italian road trip. It's kind of a narrative um, story game. You don't have too many decisions, but like they are, it's, it's, it's just got a whole feel to it because it's made by Italians, right? So mm -hmm. it's just something a bit different. Yeah. And I, I totally recommend it. So, yeah. Um, love that. Uh, this is Blazing Griffin's um, Murderous mm -hmm. Pursuits. They're, these guys make Among Us style games. This is a classically like Assassin's Creed Among Us. multiplayer. Among Us. I don't think you, did you guys get around to playing this? I think there was an issue with the service, wasn't there? Yeah. The uh, me and Ped didn't get to, but the rest of the squad, I think. I think was next able year, to. what we're going to do is see if we can build some more community stuff in to allow people to find games with other people on the Jingle Jam. Yeah. So I think a lot of people want to play these Jingle Jam games, but don't have anyone to play mm. with or don't know when. So we're going to try and. Maybe a Discord maybe server. Maybe through or like something. the Yogg's Discord or through like. Maybe, that would be maybe, cute. Yeah. So we're looking into doing that because that would be really fun to have next year. Hellheim House always in Yogg's games. Mm -hmm. They're friends of ours. Um. 
it's it's a it's a it's a it's an actually funny platformer that yeah. involves you derping around and tearing your limbs off and puzzles and stuff and it's it's actually worth a look it's good fun obviously it's you know free so so get it um this is a cow the kangaroo it's this is the oldest game we've ever had in the bundle mm -hmm. um it's very cheap it's like one pound 69 but it's cute as and it's fuck. also super old mm -hmm. but uh they're making a new one next year okay um there will be a brand new one of these next year which is awesome that's that's um, always fun to play those too because it's like what banjo kazooie kind of style yeah and obviously like this is i think we've really enjoyed playing it yeah and i think it's it's just super wholesome it's like it's super good to nostalgic have those here and there. super retro um obviously like very well reviewed you know people love this game so yeah um my niece finished it finished it eight times a cute so, yeah, that, that is, is very sweet it's cute so yeah, Hearthstone is a city builder, extra box racing. Mm -hmm. This, have you played this? Did you play yeah, this that one was fun. So it's multiplayer puzzle battling, but it's also is there dating? There's in also it? like I didn't get as far to date. There's also like a whole single player story and stuff. Okay. So it's got like a visual novel. Um, oh, there's a versus. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. There's. I, I thought that's what you did. The versus. No, we did the single player oh. thing, and Pedgwin did a very terrible voice. <laughs> it's okay. like that with your anime. Yeah. Anyway, again, one of these hidden gems on fun. Steam, so it's worth fun. checking out. And I too is, is menthol. It's made by these these two guys, Melos Hantani and Marina Kitaka. They they make weird mm -hmm. weird games. They put so many hours into making these amazing games. Oh wow! Um, and it's like a blend of Zelda, old mm -hmm. school Zelda, but also like two D Zelda and three D oh, wow. Zelda. And so you go into so it's like there's both in there. Yeah. Um. So it's it's puzzles. It's it's like different different game types. There's like weird bosses. There's oh, weird wow. characters. There's weird story. There's weird music. It's a whole thing. It's such an amazing experience. This game. It's it's a whole thing. It and, looks um, really cool. They've also made a newer one, which I don't think is fully out yet. No, it's not out. It's not out till next year. It's called Stephanie, which is a sort of more modern, their yeah, modern take on it, which is just kind of up, upscaled a bit. It's the same yeah. two people making it again, and it's um. It's just more madness, more of the same. Yeah. So this is... Um, I wanted to shout that out because it's really cool. God, I'm taking ages. I'm never going to get these done. Um, Jump Harley, you played that, I think. I like that one. It's like a competitive mm -hmm. jumping game. It's actually oof, really fun. Oof, 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 oof. Um, it's a mess, but it's 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 shouty. And it's, but it's fun and it's cool, right? And it works well. Um, I timing, like how many skill -based. Um, multiplayer ones there are. Really cool. Always. Yeah. Uh, kind Words... A good one is really just wholesome, wholesome mm -hmm. awesomeness. If you if you don't know what this game is, I did a, a long video on it back in the day. But it's basically about how um, you can write letters. You to can write letters to people and receive, and letters. receive letters, and it's it's just not nice. Just really, really, really nice mm -hmm. game. A really wholesome game. Sizable is uh, like the one that said it's one of the ones mm -hmm. which we got sent in, but it's actually really great. Um, Someone like had a, sent me that when I look played how pretty it. this is. It's um, very cute. It's a game that Tom had been following for a long time, yeah. separately. So Tom's a big fan, and yeah, look at look at it. Look, how can you not want to play this game where you it's have a little cute. cute island with a, a stuff on it? Do you know what I mean? How can you not want to mess around on this? Um, Sizable, brilliant. Pankapu is. Um, it's like a narrative action platformer. This, this is one of the ones from Plugin Digital. So Plugin Digital always send us loads of stuff. Mm -hmm. Last year they sent like three games. This year they've sent this game and Pixar Quest, which is more Pick Cross. So Murder by Numbers and, and Pixar Quest, both Pick Cross mm -hmm. games. Now I know how to play. Big fan of. Um, but yes, they've got a load of demos. Boreal Blade is an early access okay. medieval chival chivalry type game. Um, Ooh. But it's it's being developed In continually. Snow. This, I think this is one of those games that will continue getting developed and improved upon over over, over and over. And while while it's quite cheap now um, and doesn't bring much value to the bundle, I think that the price will go up once it com comes along. Yeah. And once they get more people in. Developing. And so I think that, you know, getting it now. I mean, Rust originally was only like seven pounds. Now yeah. it's like 30, you know. Um, As development goes on, of yeah. course. So same thing with Minecraft. How much was that when it came out? Like ten bucks. It was like yeah, it was like ten. So yeah, that's early access. Uh, Crown Takers is like a, a hex-based strategy. These guys gave us uh, Rise of Industry last year, and okay. they're big. They're big supporters. So they've they've got. Um, it's actually me and Ben have been playing this. It's actually fun. 
if you like hexes and you like this type of um, game, then mm. you probably might have overlooked this because it's not very popular, but it is fun. So if you like hexes, that's your game. Four Sided Fantasy is like a kind of troll game where okay. it's one of these games where it's got this weird mechanic of if you jump off like the side of the screen, you come mm. on the other side of the screen. Okay. So um, it's kind of this whole it's this whole thing where you 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 jump off the top and you appear on the bottom type thing. Okay. Right. So it's it's yeah, it's, it's using it's a lot a of dimension. Uh, Disc room is like a horrible devolver spinning blade death room. I don't know if it got played yesterday. Mm. Um, but Those games are fun to just like get lost in. Yeah, it's it looks a lot like Binding of Isaac or something, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's um. Yes, yeah, a lot of death. Zylus and... did get to play it. Okay. Okay. What did he think? He was driven mad by it. Perfect. That's what I wanted. You, can, if you like games where you can be driven mad, I guess this is one of those games that if you mm-hmm. you want to stream something, this is what you. Lewis right? had said he deliberately chose those games for Mango and Becky. Yeah. So, well, I know that Mango likes hating herself on mm-hmm. these games, but I just thought Becky would help keep her sane. Mm-hmm. Farm Manager 2018. Um, I got Sips to play this. He actually liked it and played it a bunch more afterwards. So, okay, okay. So that's that's that. Sips approved, guys. Um, Twelve is better than six. This is um, like Hotline Miami. Okay. So it's kind of like um, a, oh wow, a cowboy game. It just doesn't look like this. It's, it's top down, so it looks like this actually. Yeah. But it's Hotline Miami with um, with they've obviously done a live oh, action trailer. Oh, they did trailer. a cool acting. This is how it actually looks in the game. Kind of quite gritty, and mm-hmm. and you're you're kind of walking around, shooting people in a in a cowboy style. So if you like Hotline Miami and you've not traded that one, there you go. And then Cluster Truck, of course. Um, we played this on the main channel. Oh, I, yeah. I watched Ben and Ravs play this. It's um, actually surprisingly fun and uh, quite a classic game this from Landfall. So. How long has it been out? Okay, since 2016. But always adding stuff. I've, that's like my super wrap-up of the games in the bundle. Of course, you get a discount code in the mm-hmm. store. But there you go. I thought I'd just quickly do that for you because... I felt like I had some info to share that you might not have otherwise known. Nuggets of wisdom. 